Good morning, guys. <laughs> I'd really to do better with bringing my updates to you all consistently on the same day every week, so you know when to expect me. But I, um, coming in with the update, I was supposed to have a doctor's appointment on this week, on Thursday, actually. Um, not for the fertility stuff yet, but for the, um, for my diabetes, because they want me to make sure that my numbers are in order before I get pregnant, which I think is a very good thing, because as you all know, being di diabetic, it's not good on yourself anyway, but being diabetic and pregnant, pregnant is still not good because you cause all kind of complications for the baby. It raises your risk for miscarriage and stillbirth. It raises the risk for um, health issues with the baby. And it's just a nasty situation. So we don't want to get started with the ball behind me. So they are working very closely with me, getting my sugars in order. But I am rescheduling my appointment for this week because I'm going to be going out of town. And then I had a lot of issues going on with my niece school and things like that. So I have to reschedule the appointment. But don't worry. I'm still doing the things that I need to be doing at home. I'm taking my insulin. I'm working extra hard on my exercises because I'm trying to get off the insulin because I do not like being on the insulin. One of the side, side effects for me is insulin makes me gain weight and it makes me struggle with getting the weight off that I already have on me. So I'm working very hard with trying to get that weight off by changing some things that I eat. Of course, I still have my snack and I still have pizza, but I try to make like, get like, um, eat a veggie pizza, but I like my meat sometimes. I eat my meat sometimes. But I try to always make sure that I'm eating a thin crust. I'm making those small changes like that. And I try to incorporate more low-carb meals into my day, too. And instead of grabbing a potato chip or a snack, even though I still have a potato chip here and there, <laughs> I grab something that's more healthier, like a um, sliced cucumber or a piece of fruit and a bottle of water, things like that. But that's what's going on with me. Also, I decided that I'm going to stop taking Biotech until I see the fertility doctor on next month. I think I go on October 27th, I said. But I stopped taking the Vitex until I go and see the fertility specialist on next month. And I'm going to let him know. The reason that I stopped it, I swear to God, I, sw I swear by Vitex. It's a very good herb. It helps me get my period. It's been helping me come on regularly every month. But um, I notice also when I don't take it, I miss my cycle but I've been noticing that I'm taking it and then I get my period and then 15 days later, every month, I start bleeding again. It's lighter than a period, but it's he heavier than spotting. So I want to make sure that I'm not causing more trouble than I am helping. So I decided to stop and see what the doctor says before I continue on with that. But I did continue my red raspberry leaf and I think this week, I'm going to pick up some more maca because I'm out of that. I'm still taking um, folic acid and my prenatals <laughs> because that's a good thing. And um, I'm taking iron because I am anemic. I, I take an extra iron because I just don't think that it's enough in my, in my um, prenatals. And I am taking vitamin B. Now, I have hubby on what we call fertility. I don't think I ever talked to you all like that. But it has pretty much all the vitamins that you need, like fish oil, um, vitamin B12, B6. It has a lot of little things in it. And um, each time we have got pregnant with um, our rainbow and with Blessing, my angel, he was taking fertility. So he do have low sperm quality and the fertility helps with that. So, that's what's going on with us. When I go back to the doctor, I schedule my appointment for next week for my diabetes. So, I'll be back next week to let you all know how that went. <laughs> See you later. Thank you again for following my journey.